Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. This makes it very difficult to track results and measure your campaign's ROI when scaling your PPC campaign. You'll need to create distinct ad groups for different products and services. For example, let's say that you sell home security equipment. If you're planning on advertising both home security cameras and alarm systems, then it's best to place these products in different groups. Why? Both of these products are very similar. The reason is because when you separate different products and services into distinct ad groups, you make it easier to target hyper-specific keywords. This way, you can not only create keyword-rich ad copy, but you can develop ads that are just what your audience is looking for. Analyze keyword demand when designing a PPC campaign, it can be tempting to just target the low-hanging fruit. After all, there's no harm in bidding for low-cost keywords that can net minimal traffic for your website or landing page. The problem is that all traffic isn't good traffic. Just because your ads are gaining impressions online doesn't mean that they are successful. Even if you're targeting keywords that total hundreds of thousands of traffic, your ads will never be completely efficient. As a result, make sure that you analyze the demand of your targeted keywords before moving forward. This goes beyond determining how much traffic a standard keyword receives. You can analyze the demand of a keyword by using external solutions, such as Wordstream, SpyFu, SEMrush, and Ubersuggest. Build keyword lists. Do you know how many keywords you're targeting? Are they organized accordingly so you can monitor their performance? If not, then you better get busy in establishing a keyword list. Google Ads already shows you a complete list of the keywords you're bidding for. Though, if you plan to use any of the external keyword research tools mentioned before, you'll need to explore these keywords into a list. Arrange your negative keywords A major part of building a keyword list is deciding which keywords you don't want to target. This may not seem important right now, but you could possibly be wasting money on irrelevant keywords that won't net any bang for your buck. If you're attempting to scale your PPC campaign, the first step is analyzing areas where your ad budget is being wasted. Here are some effective ways to optimize your ad spend by creating a list of negative keywords. Use Google Keyword Planner. This tool is capable of discovering any negative keyword that could be inhibiting your campaign. Run regular SQRs by performing consistent search query reports. You can observe all of the keywords people are using to find your ads. If you see any keywords that are completely irrelevant to your business, add them to your list. Know the difference there is a strong difference between negative keywords and poor performing ones. If a keyword just isn't working well for your business, you should place it in another campaign rather than deeming it irrelevant. Perform consistent competitor analysis If you're going to be successful in scaling your PPC campaigns, then you'll first have to spy on your fiercest competitors and understand how they're structuring their campaigns. In fact, this is one of the most important steps of building a PPC campaign in the first place. Competitor analysis is the crux of both SEO and paid search. The good news is that there are several tools available to get a sneak peek into the campaigns of your competition. Auction Insights via Google Ads, SpyFu, SEMrush, are all great tools to utilize in this regard. Optimize your ad copy. Don't fall into the trap of spamming keywords into your ad copy and headlines just to improve its quality score. While your ads will appear for relevant searches, it will fail to compel potential customers to click. Remember, ad copy is for people, not search engines. Make sure you are communicating clear and concise information to your target audiences, such as your offer, contact information, and buzz words such as buy now. The important thing when writing ad copy is to always write for the end user. Nail the CTAs like the ad copy. The call to action CTA is also one of the most important structural components of any campaign. Therefore, pay close attention to the verbiage and contact information you use in your CTAs. If you're selling products, you should strive towards attracting your audience to buy now. 
On the other hand, if you're selling services, it would be best to convince your audience to learn more. These are clear differences, as most online products are geared toward consumers who have natural impulses to splurge in comparison to key decision makers who are interested in a service. Since your CTAs will impact your entire campaign, place them in rigorous A-B tests to ensure they are effectively converting your target audience. Grow your PPC campaign today. Scaling your PPC campaign will ultimately require a great deal of experimentation, time, effort, and money. When you choose to do all of the work yourself, you can run the risk of wasting your valuable investment and ruining your campaign. Nonetheless, if you're still interested in growing your PPC campaign, then you've come to the right place. Contact us today to receive a free proposal to begin scaling your campaign. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.